Casimir Towers Mandawe is a four-tower mixed-use development by Cebu Land Masters located in Alang-Alang, Mandawe City, Cebu. The project will have four residential towers, as I mentioned, and one retail building, with a total of 1,484 residential units. If you are looking for pre-selling condo in Mandawa, Cebu, then check this video out and click subscribe if you're liking this content. For a more in-depth discussion on the project, message me on WhatsApp so we can set up a consultation. Towers 1 to 3 is actually almost sold out, but there are still a lot of units available for Tower 4. So target turnover for Tower 4 is 2025. However, quick disclaimer, turnover dates may change since delays can happen and construction is actually quite common. So you can also check out updates on CLI's website for all their projects. Now, Tower 1 has 12 floors with 256 units. Tower 2 has 19 floors with 407 units. And Tower 3 has 23 floors, so it's the highest tower with 505 units. Tower 4 has 15 floors with 316 units. All units are combinable, subject to design and development schedule limitations. Phase 1 includes Towers 3 and 4, the amenities area, the basement parking, retail and guard house, and the entrance plaza. While Phase 2 includes Towers 1 and 2, the function hall, and the retail area. Casamira Mandawa is only 5 minutes to Pacific Mall, 8 minutes to St. Joseph National Shrine, and St. Joseph Academy Mandawa City Hall, Siemens Hospital, and 15 minutes to Mactan Cebu International Airport. This is a development that uses the conveniences of business, and leisure and entertainment. It's surrounded by major establishments like St. Louis School, St. Joseph National Shrine, Pacific Mall, Prince Warehouse, Dr. Ignacio M. Cortez General Hospital, and City Hardware. This newest address quickly links you to either the north or south part of Cebu and even to Mactan Island. Now let's check out the site development plan. So it's numbered and labeled accordingly. So number one is the residential entrance. Number two, that's the swimming pool. The gym is over here. Multipurpose hall is numbered four. This is the drop-off area, mini mark, retail spaces. Seven, eight, nine are towers one, two, three. Number 10 is tower four. By the way, if at any point during this video, you decide you're interested in this project and want to schedule a Zoom consultation, send me a message on WhatsApp. My contact info is in the description. So this project has several components. We have residential, retail, ground floor amenity level, and basement parking. Now let's go to the building features and amenities. So we have an adult and kiddie pool, fitness gym, children's play area, a clubhouse, lounge, multi-function halls, three elevators per building, garbage rooms per floor, and 100% backup power, 24-7 CCTV system for your security, retail strip, drop-off area and entrance lobby, and property management services. There are two unit types available. We have a studio and one bedroom unit. So a studio unit is about 20 square meters, but there's also a studio unit which has a balcony. That's 23 square meters and special studio at 24 square meters, while the one bedroom unit with balcony is at 35.6 square meters. Now let's go to a sample computation of a studio unit at 27 square meters. So this has a total contract price of 3.8 million, equity at 10% is about 9,100 for 42 months, and 90% can be financed at the bank, that's about 33,000 per month for a 15 year, year term at 8% interest. Now for a studio unit with balcony with a floor area of 23 square meters, this one has a total contract price of 4 million. Equity at 10% is only 6,700 for 60 months, so very affordable. For the bank, it's about 34 to 35,000 per month for a 15 year term at 8% interest. Now for a one bedroom unit with a size of 35 square meters, total contract price is about 6.1. Equity at 10% is going to be at 10,100 for 60 months. And for the bank, it would have a monthly amortization of 52,000 per month for a 15-year term at 8% interest. So required income for a one-bedroom unit is going to be at 180,000 per month. Now for the unit features, we have tiled flooring for the toilet and bath, ceramic non-slip floor tiles, painted wall finish, bathroom fixtures, and kitchen-based cabinets with countertops. Provision for kitchen exhaust, cable, TV, telephone, and internet wires, aircon, and shower heater. So only provisions. You'll be the one to provide these items. 
fire detection and suppression system. Now for the unit features and deliverables, we have a floor finish is going to be tiled. Again, painted wall finish, ceramic tiles for the toilet and bath. Mechanical exhaust, bathroom fixtures include kitchen-based cabinet with countertops, provision for kitchen exhaust. And that's it for today's project in focus. Message me for an updated inventory and price list since prices and promos can change without prior notice. If you found this video interesting, all I ask for is a subscribe. And if you want my free home buying guide, things to consider when buying a property in the Philippines, send me an email so I can forward you a copy.